Millionaire is on house arrest in Florida, awaiting trial on charges that he repeatedly sexually assaulted his 12-year-old stepdaughter and the detailed personal. Sure. And there's a reason. It's not just because it's delightful to see a guy behaving badly and <laughs> doing things he's not supposed to do. But before I do that, we need to know that the conditions of this house arrest were actually house. You have to be inside the house. You don't get to go strolling around your lovely grounds unless you have to do some physio and actually do some walking with that cane on the grounds. So let's see him walking. Here's the first video I want to show you of him. By the way, I just want to tell you a couple of things so that while we're all having fun watching this guy, this isn't the kind of personal injury case that, that Doug was mentioning. This is a guy who was accused of um, so many crimes it took 50 pages to have this uh, arrest affidavit that he used chloroform on this girl oh, yeah. and, and weekly apparently was performing makeshift surgical procedures of a sexual nature on right. her. I can't tell you the details because it's not fit for TV no matter what time of night. Uh, he used a folding doctor's table statement tonight. She says there's no proof of him sexually abusing his stepdaughter but Janie while I do love you I'm going to bat through the television lens with you here. Um, there is from the arrest affidavit uh, after all the things that are listed in that arrest affidavit undercharged perhaps maybe must revoke because people don't seem to get this house uh, arrest is not bail you're yeah. you're considered to be in jail no, when right. you're in house arrest yeah. and if you leave the house or violate anything people go in their back egregious I'm and angry. the funny thing <laughs> I'm no, angry because the rest of us flunkies end up in a stinky place oh, so. or we end up in, in our mom's basement yeah. so, yeah. our... he joins us on the panel yeah. she's gonna be steaming mad at me for going after her client but you know what she is a great lawyer and he is going to need her um, why do you think kids especially teenagers think they can get away with something like a crime just because they're kids if you've been watching the show you probably know that I have a thing when it comes to teenagers behaving badly and getting away with it because it seems over the years that I've been getting older they've been getting more brazen and they've been getting away with a lot and they're getting the upper hand the law seems to protect them parents seem to protect them I don't know if there's any easy answer here, but I have a story tonight that fits right into this category. It comes from Wisconsin, 17 year old, because he was 17. And what do they do instead? No defense at all. Even when you're 17? It doesn't matter if you're 17 or 70. It's all the same. Years. Yeah. I mean, look, I, I, 17 years old is different in terms of what you know to be wrong than, say, right. a 48-year-old man who was... I'm a little less adamant in hammering him. However, as you say... Um, they pulled him out of class chemistry class and they questioned him without his parents there again he's 17 please be absolutely be present it just requires that law enforcement Howdy. famous for show Arpaio <laughs> uh, <laughs> former sheriff Joe Arpaio but I got a whole new reason for Maricopa County to be famous now and it's a video a body cam video Maricopa County, Arizona now. Before I tell you about this next story, I need you to know one really important fact. The woman who you're about to see, naked as a jaybird, um, lied to the cops when they encountered her and said that she'd been a victim of sexual assault. She, she hadn't. So with that in mind, the tape you're about to see becomes uh, much more funny until the officer gets injured. Have a look. Imagine where to start. Her behavior was asinine. You know what, I, I feel sorry for him. All his brother officers are just going to be breaking his stones back in oh, the How did you let the naked lady steal the, the car, right? She looked like she was pretty comfortable, you right? Yeah. She chase. There were <laughs> oh, helicopters no. all over the place. Wow. And we actually refrained from reporting it because at the time she did say she was a rape victim and it was a lie. So now she's on the TV. Anyway, thanks guys. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Hey, thank you all for being here. We'll see you back here on Monday, 8 o'clock, Primetime Justice. Stay tuned for Friends and Files.